Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and this is a quick uh, little tips and tricks video for those that have performance issues within Windows 10. So I see some posts of people saying, well, you know, I've upgraded to a um, the latest version, 1903, or I've upgraded from Windows 7 to Windows 10. And you notice that the performance is degraded. Now, Windows 10 is as fast as Windows 7, if not more. So there's no reason for you to have uh, performance problems when you actually are using this uh, version of Windows. There is, uh, there are quite a few little things that can actually uh, make Windows 10 go uh, slower. And one of them that is often overlooked is drivers. If your devices don't have updated drivers that are optimized for Windows 10, sometimes that is one of the problems. The performance degrades because the drivers just can't cope with the way Windows 10 wants to handle hardware. So make sure that you actually go to your start menu, right click on the start menu and go into device manager to make sure that you update all of your drivers in the device. So you simply go to the major uh, drivers that you have, audio for example, um, you know, all, all the things that's audio. Uh, one of the biggest problems is display display adapters sometimes don't register well or don't work well make sure that you go to your manufacturer if you have a branded computer a Dell an Acer a Lenovo a Toshiba or whatever device go and check out if they have Windows 10 drivers now if your PC is old possibly there won't be but you might have new drivers to install that will actually improve the performance on your device. Of course, when you are on the device itself in the device manager, you can click a uh, hardware driver and in the driver section, you can click update driver and you'll have search automatically for updated driver software. So this will, of course, check out for the latest versions of these drivers that you might want to use. So these are a few little things. Make sure that the software you have installed is compatible. Some older software aren't really well uh, received with Windows 10. Even though most of the programs you have will probably be okay, yes, it's possible that some of these will not be okay. And so make sure that you uninstall anything that is, um, you know, software that you might have that's old, that you don't use anymore. Really strip it down to the minimum when you do this. Another place where you can go is also right click in the, uh, the um, task bar at the bottom and go into task manager and into startup. Here you will see device, all the things that are actually going to uh, you know start with your device. You can actually disable the maximum amount of stuff that you have here so that they don't actually uh, boot up with your device all the time this will enable that not only your boot time will be faster but also might actually give you a little more in terms of performance and all but not uh, you know sometimes when you upgrade if you do a upgrade one of the things that is a major issue is that the upgrade doesn't go well and that means that you might need to actually have and do a clean install if you want your PC to actually work well. You can download the Windows software from the Microsoft website, the Windows operating system, and install it, of course, because a lot of that has to do with cleaning, you know, having, make sure that everything is uh, basically at its basics by doing a clean install of Windows. So if you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and hope that some of these pointers have helped you out.